price to charge for these companies, okay? Advertisement should not be free. I don't really want no friends. He's trying to 69 like Takashi, call him Papi, work the ASAP, keep me rocky. I'm from New York, so I'm cocky. Say hey, those, welcome back to another video. So, this video is going to be about how to film on your iPhone, how to start your YouTube channel. A lot of you guys have been asking me about that, and honey, I'm here to tell you. So for first and foremost, I know y'all guys are like, girl, what wig is this? This is the Mocha unit. She is from my wig line. Go check it out. Link in the description box. Um, yeah, so basically, we're just going to get straight into this. Setting up a YouTube channel is easy, like making a Facebook, making an Instagram. All you have to do, go on YouTube.com, sign up. You already know. Now, when I advise when choosing your email for your YouTube account, make sure it's like appropriate okay make sure it's appropriate make sure your first and last name so sarah johnson at gmail.com i'm using that email for promotions and sponsorships and we're going to get into that later Some people will be like oh i cannot wait to get the ti 8985 i don't even know the names of these cameras but do if you do not have the money to get a camera don't don't go ahead and break your pockets to do it for a YouTube channel. I have been recording my videos since I started this channel on my iPhone. And I still do, honey. So you do not need a super duper high resolution $900, $1,200 camera. We can just do it off your iPhone. Especially when you're just starting. Um, at least if you have like a good following already. Like if you're famous on Instagram, you start on YouTube. Go and get a good camera. I mean, if you want. But honestly, an iPhone is all you need. Like, um, but I will suggest like a camera eventually because you want to see more improvement in the quality of your video. I'm gonna tell you guys the three iPhones that's good for filming: iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and iPhone X. XR all the way up. iPhone 6 is not good for filming. I mean, you can do it, but it just don't give me the HD that I need. So at least an iPhone 7 to film your video. Once you get your, you know, once you have your iPhone and everything ready, you're ready to film. Now, what I did when I first started, I used to always film in daylight lightning because I didn't have no ring light or whatever. And that always used to work for me, but it doesn't work, you know, as the seasons go around and it starts getting darker fast outside. Maybe it's not as sunny. So, you know, you're going to have to do plan B. So, I would say invest in a ring light. When I first started my YouTube channel, I had like um, these two, I had two umbrella lights. Yeah, I had two umbrella lights and like two other lights. It was just... It was crazy. It was okay, but it was like something is missing. Like something is missing and doesn't look good. A ring light. A ring light is all you need. Literally all you need. I would definitely buy like more lights, but a ring light is doing me justice already. I don't need nothing else. Get a ring light. I got my ring light from, um, dang, I forgot where, but I will put it right here. I got my ring light from there. Um, it's oh it's a um a ring light that's adjustable like you can you know adjust the lightning or whatever but like the little switch you turn to adjust the lightning it literally broke so I was like girl what is this so like I pro I won't recommend that brand anymore so I will be trying like another brand I'll be getting another ring light eventually but the little switch had fall off like no so now my ring light is at one brightness forever. And the good thing is that the the um the brightest lightning, because if it was stuck at low, I would have been upset. Good ring light, and a lot of you guys know. Oh, I'm gonna do hair. How do I get free hair, girl? How do I do this? I can't help you with that. I literally can't help you with that. Like I'm being so honest. Like you have to go into YouTube doing something that you love, that you enjoy doing. Don't look at YouTube as a job. Don't look at it as a job, like, oh, I'm going to get this money. I hate when people be like, oh, how much you make off YouTube? Oh, y'all be getting money, right? I be like, girl, first of all, mind your business. Mind your business. Like, they be looking at YouTube as a job. Many people use YouTube as a job, you know, for ad advertisement and stuff. M many people use it because that's what they like to do and they get paid from it. No shade. Because when you first start, it is not easy money. You have to wait, okay? You have to wait. And the way YouTube turns are now, they changed it, honey. So you, I think you got to have like a thousand subscribers, a certain amount a certain amount of watch time minutes. Yeah, it's crazy. So they made the standards high now. So don't look at it as free money. 
do it useless as something you love honey okay now y'all like oh how do i how do i you like you have to glow this is how i was looking from this to this I glowed up I glowed up like it's, it's the same thing you have to glow up with YouTube you're gonna start out not good okay it's not gonna be the best but as you as you prosper honey you is gonna glow and you your video is gonna be better your content is gonna be better and that's just it the iPhone 8 plus the screen is like crack honey a little bit but I use the front camera many people use the back camera but I don't like that and I also have um it's a iphone 7 also have an iphone 7 and uh this is my old phone actually and i use this i'm not gonna barely use this but i'm gonna just show you guys um how my filming is looking all all i use is um a ring light let me fix the brightness that wants to go up all I use is a ring light. Literally, this is all I use. Um, I no extra lights whatsoever. See how cracked my phone is? Yeah, it's embarrassing, girl. So if you want to adjust the brightness to your screen, um, all I did was like, I don't want to mess with it because it took me a while to get this good lighting, girl. But all you have to do is just hold the screen, then a little box is going to come up, and it's going to be like AE lock. Y'all see it right there? And then there's going to be a little brightness, a um, little sun on the side, and you can just adjust it. You see how the lightning is changing? You can adjust it just like that and then get the good, the best lightning for you. That's the trick that I learned. So all we just go ahead and film my iPhone. Be like, oh my God, it is so dark. Like, what is going on? Use the AE lock so your, your brightness can be brighter. It can be lighter. It can be everything. So that really helped me a lot. Um, and it also helps out the quality. Pretty much how I film, not how I edit. We're going to get into that. So I edit using iMovie, which is like, everybody uses that really. When I first started YouTube, I was editing pretty good. I was editing pretty good. I got the hang of it. Um, it might be harder for others. Oh my God. The, the freaking sun, the freaking sun went down. How I edit my intros is like fairly complicated, but I'm going to show you one way of how I edit my intros. I use two ways, but I'm going to show you one way. So I use this app called InShot, and basically it's like an editing app. You can put music, put effects, you can put filters. And say if my video comes out too dark or whatever, I just go to InShot, put the brightness up, put the saturation up, you know, make sharpening up a little bit so it can look nice, cut crisp and clean. I'm going to suggest the app a lot because it does take out the HD quality of your video. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys a little example of how I edit. So right now I'm on iMovie. I use like random snapchat videos i didn't have any videos i needed to edit for a youtube intro so i'm using these so basically i'm just put them all together and save them now i'm going to the InShot app and i'm going to start to edit these videos so first i'm going to start off by um just playing with the app just show you guys some of the effects they got some cool stickers you can change the filter you know the effects here there's like this ghost effect and it's tv static also change how intense you want the um effects to be so if you want it really intense or just a little bit you can definitely change so now i'm just gonna go to um split and basically i'm gonna be editing one video each so i'm not gonna put effects on the whole video just like doing separate videos so i'm just splitting the videos up Now I'm going to go into filter. Now this is what I was talking about guys earlier. You can make the video brighter. Put the saturation up. Like look. Oh my god. Look orange. You love this. It's basically putting a filter over your video. Which you know sometimes you need it honey. Sometimes you need it. Now I'm going to start to put an effect for this exact one video. So I just like to play around with the effects. You can buy, they have more effects that you can buy. Also, you can pick how to transition you want to be on your video. So for example, I actually bought these um, transitions that was in the like gold um, color. And you can see how, look at that, look at that. You can choose what kind of transition you want. And it just makes the video look so much better. 
So basically, I'm just putting an effect for each video. I just say I'm just playing around, see which one I want. I'm messing with the transition, see what kind of transition I want for it to go into the next video. You know, just you just roll with it, girl. Now, don't worry, guys, this is a Snapchat video. That's why the back is black. But when you're recording a YouTube video, it won't look like that. Just messing with the speed, I can slow it down, I can speed it up. So one little section of the video can be slower than the other one can be faster. So that's really cool. So guys, I will already have music in the video I'm editing. So all I have to do is just speed up the video so the sound will be speeded up also so it won't be copyrighted. If your song is not speed up or slow down, you will get copyrighted and <laughs> your channel will be in trouble. My favorite part is the stickers you can put in your video. So you can actually put pictures too. So I'm adding a little money sign. Um, these are also where I get my subscribe buttons, the like buttons and everything. It's just so cool that they have this. Basically going to video crop and InShot automatically like crops your video. So I like to crop it to the normal size and this also takes out the watermark for the um, InShot also. Guys, that's basically it. This is a little play around video, but it gives you guys an idea of what you can do with this app. Hope you enjoy it. I want you guys to play around with this app and, and learn as you go. Because when I first started doing this, I did not know what to, what to really do. I didn't know how to be creative with it. But it's, it's a lot of ways you can be creative with this app to make it look like real professional. So make sure you guys play around with that app. You can do a lot of cool effects. Um, Yeah, basically, you can, like... Any of these like iPhone editing apps is good to edit your videos with. How to gain your first 1,000 subscribers. Make good content. Have a good background. Like have a good background. I like to switch up my videos by having backdrops. And I also like um, having like a vibe. Like having my room as a background. Make sure you switch up your backgrounds because it can be a little bit boring. It can be a little bit boring. Like I want you, you want your videos to look like a vibe. Like, you want somebody to be laying in their bed, looking at your videos, chilling, like they like you talk to them. You want that kind of vibe. I see some videos, people be having backgrounds with their kids running around in the back, their wig on the floor, their eyelashes on the pillows. Like, girl, what are you doing? But viewers don't like long intros, so don't do the long intros. Viewers like, let me tell you what viewers like. They don't like long intros. They like for people to go straight to the point. No chit-chatting, no lobby-dabbing, go straight to the point, okay? Viewers also look for a genuine love. Like, like nobody's really going to subscribe to your channel if it looks like you're just doing this for views or you're just doing this for money. They like to see that you generally love making videos and they like to be inspired. So make sure you're not cocky or whatever. Just be yourself. Honestly, just be yourself, okay? You don't have to go on camera like you want a movie and you can just be whoever. No, just be yourself. Um... Viewers also look for honest reviews. So if you have a wig on and it's looking bad, girl, and you're saying this look good, nobody gonna subscribe, they're gonna unsubscribe, and viewers hate liars. They hate liars, okay? Do not lie on your videos. Do not do that, okay? You will lose a lot of people. So those things are key with gaining viewers. When you post a YouTube video, it's gonna be this little, um, it's gonna be like this little section and it's gonna be and you're gonna have a section to put your title your description your youtube tags if you don't know what youtube tags is it's like tags that help people search for the video they want so if your tag says food um apples and bananas and somebody types any of those three words in if they're gonna find your video your video is gonna be somewhere in that list so make sure you put an appropriate tag to match your videos the more tags the better I'm not gonna lie, I'm still learning like with tags and everything. I need to be better on my tags, but honestly, honestly, what you can do, this is what I learned by myself, look for the most popular tags that people are searching. Your video is gonna be top ranked, they're gonna be right there. You're doing a lace wig video, and if you're doing a lace wig video, and you're looking for a tag, like, okay, which tag can I do? Um, so what you can do is go on the YouTube search bar, type wigs now the first 
the first thing that comes up is the most popular search that people are searching. You better put that search in your tag so it's girl, them people are search for that and they're going to find your video and everybody else going to find your video and you're going to get them views, okay? So popular tags is good. That is a good way I learned how to do tags. It's going to get you views. It's going to get your videos found. Your videos won't be in a cut. Your videos won't be under a rock anywhere people who's gonna see your videos you want your videos to be seen you want your creative work to be seen you want to hit a million okay and be consistent with your videos okay i need to be consistent too so i'm gonna do that i'm trying to post like five days a week maybe be consistent because you can go out of style real quick like people can, people can forget about you real quick so it's good to be consistent because you know YouTube is not a competition, but many people look at it like that. It's many people doing the same thing that you're doing. So, you know, it's not like you're the only person they're looking at. They can go find somebody else. Be consistent. Be unique. Do content that's, that's um, what not everybody else is doing. Make something up and start a trend, girl. So when people make a video, they can be like, yes, um, I got this trend from Anna Doll. Make sure you check her out, guys. Like, start a trend. Be unique. Don't be like everybody else. Start important tips. Um, as far as getting paid and everything, as I said, the YouTube terms have changed. So, YouTube is going to tell you all about how to get paid and everything, okay? So, I don't know because the terms has changed. But don't look at the money, okay? Um, another thing is sponsorships. Let me tell you about sponsorships, honey. There are going to be some good sponsorships. There are going to be some bad sponsorships. There are going to be some sponsorships that waste your time. Make sure your email is in the description box for sponsorships. Do not expect for you to have 100 subscribers um, and get sponsorships. Like, girl, you got to have a, a good following. Sponsorships usually contact people when they're at, like, 1,000 subscribers. Um, I don't know how it is now. It depends on the sponsorship, but my first sponsorship I got was with Sam's Beauty, and I think I had less than 1,000 subscribers, and I work with them Having, I worked with them when I was at less than a thousand subscribers all the way until I had 13 cakes. That's a long time, girl. That's a long time, and I enjoyed that company so much. Like, some sponsorships look for the people that have more views, have more following, and some sponsorships are more genuine when they look for people that has potential. Like, you might not have the views, you might not have the subscribers, but your potential in your videos is popping, okay? You, you're not getting a lot of views, but you doing what you do better than these other people that is getting a lot of views. You feel me? Be professional with these sponsorships because sponsorships do come back to you in the future and you want to continue to work with them because it can go into many different things, girl. Maybe you can, maybe they can fly you out. Maybe you can get a, a commercial from them. You never know. You never know. So always be professional with every sponsorship you get. Some sponsorships are dead, dead or brood. I'm going to say Ever Hair Wigs they're rude okay they are a racist company um they sent me some bad hair it was a hole in the lace hole in the lace girl a hole in the lace like it was not wearable i was like i cannot wear this like they was really forcing me they're really disrespectful so i threw the wig out so i threw the wig out i threw the wig out say i'm wrong say i'm right but i threw it out i can't do not with it i'm not sending i'm not sending the wig back to you they wanted me to pay for the ship i'm like no girl i'm I'm throwing this away. I have my own hairline. I don't have time for this, okay? I, I was trying to work with you. Now, Ever Hair Wigs are definitely a racist company. Like, I'm going to show y'all what they said to me. Being narrow-minded is not going to get you anywhere. God will punish you. Y'all see that? And they text me from this WhatsApp, what, what's, what's freaking app email. I almost wanted to curse. I almost wanted to go to China and just... Y'all talking all that in China. Like, you do not know. I'm from Brooklyn, girl. I'm from Brooklyn. Okay? I would take those chopsticks and stick <laughs> talk too much about I'm not going to talk too much about that because I'm not trying to give them clout. But Ever Hair Wigs, they are racist. They was racist to me. And then y'all just better watch out. Because even, see, I'm an influencer and they can still be rude. So, it really doesn't matter, honey. Like, it really doesn't matter. Just some of these companies are rude. That's the only company that was really rude to me. And I was like, girl. 
Many sponsorships will want to pay you. Many sponsorships will not want to pay you. It depends on what their budget. But once you get to start following, once you get a good amount of views, and you're like, girl, I need to start getting paid because I'm working harder. I, you know, I got, I got things to do. Ask for, you know, make sure you have a price to charge for these companies, okay? Advertisement should not be free. <laughs> when you're making a channel, ignore the negative comments. Ignore the negative comments. These people is just mad. They is bullheaded. They ain't got no edges. They edges has left the chat. People are just miserable. I see a lot of people who really be bothered all these YouTube comments. I don't be bothered all these YouTube comments. Cause listen, if you if a YouTube comment do make you feel away, think about this. You clicked on my video. You gave me my view. Thank you. You gave me my coin. Thank you. I understand how people just come on a video and hate. Like, girl, go get some money. Uh, and uh, get some money. Oh, go go get some money. This is literally a learning process. I'm not gonna tell y'all like, oh, you need all these steps to follow a YouTube channel. It's not reality. It's a learning process. You learn as you go, and many people have different techniques. You're gonna learn your own techniques with YouTube, and that's pretty much it. You have to go on and learn. And I just gave you the tips, so be free my babies so yeah guys thank you so much for watching definitely comment down below what other videos you want to see i know y'all want to do some fashion hauls and everything guys like no shade but i'm kind of tired of doing wig videos all the time i will be having wig videos but i know all the time some fashion some more talk throughs some more just a lot of more creative things it's a new year oh happy new year's baby happy new year's baby Happy New Year's, and yeah, have a blessed, blessed, blessed year. Do not let anybody bring you down. If you was waiting to make a YouTube channel, girl, make that YouTube channel right now. It's a new year. Go get started. And yes, honey, you can do it. And I'm almost at 15K subs. So thank you so much. Why am I clapping so loud? So thank you so much for that. I love all you guys. I really want to help you guys grow and be your own creator so any questions be free to comment down below if you want to ask me some questions make sure to email me right here um do not dm me on instagram please 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 email me on here if you need any advice if you need to talk if you need to do anything email me at this email okay i will be doing um some advice I, I this is my new advice email and make sure you email me there and yes honey thank you dolls all so much for watching i love you guys all so much and have a blessed day slay till your edges fall off